my name is Judy, Geospatial Sales Engineer at Neomap. Today I'm going to show you how to put our point cloud in Autodesk InfoWorks. By the end of this video, you'll be able to use Neomap 3D export point cloud file to do your conceptual design in InfoWorks. Point cloud files from Neomap come in less format. In order to use it in InfoWorks, we must convert these to an RCP file in Recap. To start this, Navigate to the New Project button. Give the project a name and click Proceed. Now we need to import our last files. You can do this in two ways. Drag and drop the files you wish to convert or click the Select Files to Import button. Clicking this box will open up a dialog box. Navigate to the file path on your computer to where you save the files downloaded from the map browser. Because Neomap 3D content is tiled, there might be multiple last files which need to be imported. Select all the files you wish to import and click the Open button. At this stage, you can configure the model as you wish. Clicking on the Advanced button reveals a few settings. If you'd like to reproject the coordinate system or change the point size, you can do it here. In this example, I'm going to use the default settings. To convert the files, click the Import Files button. Depending on the file size and your individual computer's hardware specifications, this can take a few minutes. Once done, the file is ready to be imported in InfoWorks. Once InfoWorks is open, we will need to create a new model to begin our visualization. In the top tab, click the New button, give the model a name, and specify the file path you wish to save the project to then click OK. Once you have created the model, the main screen will appear. Now we can import our RCP file. To do this, navigate to the Data Sources tab and click the arrow next to the Add button. Select Point Cloud from the drop-down list. Navigate to the file directory and double-click to open it. The Point Cloud file should be pre-configured once imported. You can either refresh the model or check the configure settings and alter them based on your requirements. Since we're happy with the default settings, we're going to click Close and Refresh. Once the point cloud model has loaded into the scene, you will see that there is a ground surface below it, making the model appear to be floating. This is because by default, the ground surface in InfoWorks is set at about sea level whereas our model of Canberra has an elevation of around 570 meters. To reset that, we can generate a point cloud terrain. In the top left corner, click on the red eye button and select the cube icon next to it. On the drop-down list below, click the point cloud terrain button. When the dialog box opens, there are some settings which can be configured. In this example, we're going to use the defaults. If you now click the Surface Layers button, you can see InfoWorks has created a ground surface from our point cloud file. From here, you can now begin your conceptual design. Adding in Revit models or some of InfoWorks built-in objects, you can begin visualizing and designing with our 3D content to give more context to how future developments may look with existing buildings and infrastructure. That's the end of this tutorial. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at